Okay, um, this is another tutorial that's going to be uploaded soon, and it is over, I forgot what I was going to do, something different, oh yeah, John, uh, it was going to be over John Rob's wrist mount stuff, um, and the first thing to note is that it's actually not a wrist mount, it looks like a wrist mount, but it is in fact a different mount, it's actually just a cross arm green triangle that he's holding in his right hand, that's all it is, alright, um, his stuff is rather difficult. I'm not very clean at it yet. I will probably make another tutorial at a later date that it, that has my execution better. But I think I have a pretty good idea of what he's doing. Um, he has a follow-up, which I will have in the later tutorial. Um, but I, don't, I haven't practiced it enough yet to do it at all. Uh, so, bear with me on that. To get into John Rob's wrist mount, you want to first be on trapeze and you want to hold the dice like this. You first pass the dice through, and then you're going to wrap it out the outside. Right there is a green triangle. Then he holds the green triangle in two or three fingers, and then holds the rest of this in the others. Then he flips this around, um, and bounces it back and forth around his hand. And does other things, and doesn't drop it, doesn't drop the snag on his area like that. Um, as far as dice passes go, it's actually not as difficult as I originally thought it would be. It's a little awkward at first, it is, and you, can, and you can do really cool things with it that are, of course, very difficult. Um, John Robb does a lot of stagemanship with it, where he doesn't have the safety of having his other hand. He'll do something like he'll put his other hand behind his back or press it on his hip or something uh, to show that he is not going to use it for safety in case he messes up, which means he's, it's a, a kind of a swagger statement that he does that's, that shows that how good he is at that trick that he, so he has complete confidence that he's not going to mess it up. Um, all right. So to get into the mount again, you're going to want to open up a trapeze, pass through from the front or the back. It either, either one works, but it changes where you, how you're going to exit the green triangle. Um, from the front, um, you're going to do that. Then you're going to go from the back right there and pass it over onto the hand like this. That is a green triangle. And I exited the wrong side, so I have a knot now, but I'm not going to bother on time. Um, when you do it from the front, you want to exit the green triangle from the back. If you do it from the back, it's the other way around. Uh, and so, pass through the front, pass around the back. And then, um, this area is, is becoming a little grippy from the humidity because I've been out here for a couple hours. Um, practicing and whatnot, so uh, probably will mess, it'll probably be a little grabby, but... Um, and then he holds it right here, and he'll flip it around and bounce off the thing. Now what he usually will do from this green triangle while it's spinning around, he'll usually drop his pinky and have it just like this, where he has the middle finger holding up the dice and the uh, ring finger holding up the green triangle. Then he'll pass it around and he'll bounce it off and he'll hit it off his, green, his pinky and he'll go around twice, this is the usual combo he does, and it'll hit here and he'll reverse it again and then he'll, then he'll have brought his left hand out, and then he'll do some interesting... Then this changes a lot, unlike the two bounces that he does, uh, like the two or three bounces that he does. Um, those are also repeatable. He'll sometimes repeat them in performance, but uh, the one that he most commonly does is just one of each. Uh, and then he gets into this, and he will actually slack out right... He'll actually pop it out right there, which then drops it, and pick it up into a undermount. Um, and then the undermount is actually the follow-up that he does, and he, that's when he also will usually do something similar. Um, it's, it has a similar look to it, um, and he'll do something that goes like this, and he'll have it wrapped around once, and he'll be holding it, and he'll be doing something like that, and he'll do it like this, and then he'll reverse it. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure that that's exactly what he does. Uh, so, I'm not going to actually teach it as that. I didn't see it closely enough, and I haven't found it really that close to find, to actually prove it. Um, I've been watching, I've been picking this out of his, uh, gold, his gold, uh, cure video that was uploaded by Yo-Yo Nation. Uh, and that's the one where you have the best shot where you can clearly see what he's actually doing. Um, as far as getting used to passing the dice around, I'm not really sure how you can get used to it, other than to kind of play around with it. Um, as far as getting used to this, it's just a pretty simple dice pass. It's just forward and back. It just takes a little bit of practice and shouldn't be too hard. Um, and 
then again, this area is kind of grippy, so I'm going to be a little positive. And then right here, we're getting used to that. You're going to want to play around with how big you want the green triangle to get you to be comfortable with it. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I only catch this trick about one out of five tries. It's pretty, it's sort of awkward. It's not a style that I'm very good at. Uh, so that's probably why I don't catch it very often. I usually just uh, don't pay attention to my barrack picking up string or something like that, and it, and I mess it up. Uh, but that's I haven't practiced it very much. So I will be again. I will be uploading a better tutorial at a later date, probably in one or two weeks, uh, that better expresses this. But this is what he does, and sort of how to do it. I will have better insight to how to improve your ability to do it again at a later date.